there's a lot of work that is being done in, uh, in UNSW and in my team around developing new algorithms. And when I say developing new algorithms, it's like more fundamental, like designing a new um, signature scheme, for example. But we have already seen today that there are already existing these NIST standardized algorithms. However, there are many sort of exotic signatures um, that are very useful for various applications, for example, a group signature or a ring signature, you know, which add aggregating signatures, which are very important for various applications, for example, blockchain, as well as other protocols. So we are designing other sorts of signature schemes. I, I think that the cost thing, though, is an important aspect of the whole concept of crypto agility as well, though, because if, yeah. if systems are designed to be properly crypto agile, then ideally they will be cheap to turn around and change to other algorithms. So, in a sense, if you can plan for this early, whatever the cost may turn out to be, you're doing yourself a favour because the cost you'll pay will be the least that you could have paid. Yeah, that's been the key message actually everywhere. Since the acquisition of Imperva happened just a year ago, you know, we're still in that awareness phase, right? And different markets and countries have different kind of, you know, kind of uh, perspectives on how Talos can help them locally. But in general, the general message is like, you can begin your journey with us in any piece of you know that data or app or identity journey, and know that we're here as a platform to support you as you know build a future people can really trust.